Hey, girl. Hey. How's it going? It's okay. Trying to stay busy. I hear that. How are you? I've just been too tired to do anything major lately. Maybe the isolation's finally hitting me. Just now? I mean, it's the same shit, different day, except for these meetings. Is anyone else coming on? I think Dave's gonna be coming in. Oh, that's good. I haven't heard from him in a while. You guys usually talk? I mean, he's not much of a talker, like, with anyone. But every once in a while, he'll like one of my posts or something. This last week, nothing. Oh, wait, Dave's coming on. Hey, Dave. Hey, ladies. How you doing? Good, good. Fine, fine. All good. You sure? How's your week going? Okay, I guess. Where is everybody else? I don't know. I just know that you two were the only ones that signed up for today. Oh, okay. I don't think we have any new announcements, so should we go ahead and get started? Dave, would you like to share? Oh, no, no, no. No, I, I'd rather just listen. Okay, as always, that's up to you. Alice, would you like to share first? Hi, my name's Alice, and I'm a possession survivor. Hi, Alice. Hi, Alice. Since the lockdown, it's been really hard for me to keep track of time. I forget the day of the week all the time. When it all started, I told myself I was going to get shit done. You know, do all the things I was putting off before because I didn't have the time. All of a sudden, I didn't have that excuse anymore. So I told myself, okay, deep clean the kitchen, finish that screenplay. And I did. I finished the screenplay. It's not going anywhere, but I finished it. And I deep cleaned the kitchen. In the bathroom, in the bedroom. And then, I don't know, maybe a month ago, everything just seemed a little less hopeful. And then the nightmare started again. It's like every time I start to relax, the demon pops up in the back of my mind. Or in the mirror. Like you guys, I live alone. Maybe I'll start a new project today. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for letting me share. Thank you, Alice. After everyone shares, if you want, we can talk about those nightmares. You know this is a safe place. Well, I'll go next. Uh, hi, I'm Dulcie, and I'm Possession Survivor. Hi, Dulcie. Hi, Dulcie. I started leading group seven years and two months after my successful exorcism. Lately, with all the news and the doctors and the statistics, the science, it, it just reminds me of when my parents first found out, when it all started. One of the doctors my mother and I first visited told us about the pituitary gland, how, for many, it starts at age 11. And that's what they thought it was, was an overactive gland for four months. After the fifth month, my outbursts had become so violent that I almost killed one of my teachers. The look in her eyes when I drove the pencil in her neck, the, the screams for the rest of the classroom, that chaos, that, those doctors. It just, it's, it's a little too close to home right now, and I'm thankful that I'm in a space with people that get it. Anyway, that's my share. Thanks, Dulcie. And on that note, I have to pee. <laughs> Me too. Too much coffee. Okay, I'll be here. Okay, be back in a sec. Dave, you okay? Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm good. What did I miss? We didn't start without you. Would you like to share? Huh? 
Judgment free zone. Okay. Hi, I'm Dave, and I'm a possession survivor. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. It's been 13 years to the day since my successful exorcism. I almost didn't come on today because I've been spending too much time on the computer reading about repeat possessions, how often they happen around this anniversary. Not always on the day, but around that time. It's difficult being alone. I only go to the store when I need to, like you guys. The other day I, I went to pick up some groceries and I saw this little old lady drop her milk in the parking lot. It was a full gallon and, and she was so old, I didn't know how she carried it in the first place. She had like 50 varicose veins on each arm. And I wanted to help, but I froze. I, I knew we were supposed to stay six feet apart. Then this guy comes out and runs to her and helps her with her milk and turns to me and calls me a fucking asshole. And I thought, is this guy better than me? A guy who would say fuck in front of an old lady? At least he had the balls to help her, right? So I run to my car and have a panic attack out of sheer embarrassment, I think. When I finally calm down, I put my key in the ignition, buckled up, checked the rearview mirror, and there he was, smiling at me, the demon that possessed me. I don't think he was really there, just a flashback, but it felt real. And I wasn't scared. I was comforted. I had just seen this scared old lady, this entitled asshole fueled with rage and self-righteousness. And then there he was, smiling at me, an old friend. I could really use a friend right now. Anyway, that's my share. Thank you, Dave. I'm glad you felt comfortable enough to share today. Okay, Alice, now that everybody has shared, if you want Actually, if it's okay, I wanted to piggyback off of what Dave said. Dave, is that okay? I don't... Look, I get that we don't judge each other here. I get that. I was just concerned about what you said about treating the demon like a friend. I didn't say I treated him like one. I said he felt like one. Alice, this really isn't piggybacking. Well, whatever it is... What are you doing, Alice? I've seen people go down this path before. What path? Some people want to do it to feel like they've conquered it on their own. Others do it for a thrill. And some do it because they're lonely. Conquer what? Do what? Summon the demon that possessed them. Why the fuck would I do that? Oh, why the fuck would you talk about a demon like that? Like an old college buddy popped up in your back seat, which I gotta say would startle Guys. a normal person. Normal, like any of us are normal in this group after what happened to us. Just saying, we care about you, we're scared for you. Don't speak for Dulce, you brought this up. Dave, would you like to clarify what you meant by seeing an old friend? What happened to this group being judgment free? It is, Dave. Clearly fucking not. I'm just trying to help. I didn't ask for your help, <laughs> did I? We're all here to help Sorry each other. Sorry if I'm not going about it in the best way possible. Alice, do you want to talk about what's normal? Jesus, Dave, you didn't want to talk. Now you're yelling at everybody. Not everybody, Guys. just you. You're not worried about anyone but yourself. You just want to sit on your moral fucking high ground while you do things that go directly against your recovery. What are you? I have no idea what you're talking about. I think this is getting a little too personal, Dave. You want to tell us about what's normal about a, a girl delving into witchcraft who was previously possessed?
you're the one lighting candles and drawing demonic symbols and you want to come after me? Alice, is this true? No. I mean, yes, but nothing about it is demonic. Why would I do that? That's what you're accusing me of. No one should be accusing anyone of anything. This is how they started. How what started? My nightmares. They all started just like this. Before. Shit. I hope she comes back on. Or not. Dave. Why does she have to be so dramatic about everything? Sometimes we accuse others of what we see in ourselves. That's not unique to Alice. What's that supposed to mean? I've led these groups for 10 years, and everything that's happening in the world right now is brand new territory. So what? Talk to me, Dave. Judgment free. I promise. The demon, he... he showed me things. Things that scared me, but they excited me too. Like what? I don't think I can describe it. Try. It's, it's too much. Okay. Just take it one step at a time. He sat on my bed. He was so large he could sit on the ground and still be eye level. He was this dark, monstrous thing, and yet, so inviting. Demons can be cunning that way. He was scary at first, but then he started to show me things. Things that should have scared me more than they did, I suppose. On the day of my successful exorcism, I took a deep breath. It was like I was underwater for a year. And then I was back in my body. This bruised, burned, cut body. The priest explained to me what had happened, that the demon was gone. And in that moment, I felt more worthless than I have in my whole life. Because of... Anyone in this entire world, this otherworldly creature, picked me. So it was hard just to go back to life like normal, like it never happened. Did you ever learn his name? What the fuck does that matter? I thought we weren't supposed to say it anyway. I think it might help you get closure. Do you ever think he misses you? Sometimes I feel he's close. Like that day in the car. Like he's waiting for me. Hey, what's going on? Why didn't you let me back in? Where are you? I just got to Dave's place. No, Alice, please. You Don't worry, to... we're going to wear a mask and shit. It'll be fine. No, Alice, okay, you don't understand. Yeah, I don't want to feel like we're ganging up on him. No, Alice, stay. Alice!
Just long to know 